today we are remembering mary help of christians and the entire church is remembering mary mother of the church now when we think about mary when we look at mary uh, when we at once imagine mary most of us or almost all of us think about the images and statues of mary and uh, some of the images and statues may look like mary with the crown and queen or in our indian setup you know our lady of velangani or sari mata and varieties of mary that we have in our indian culture or mary help of christians a queen uh, so these are the images we have images of uh, our statues of mother mary uh our lady of velangani our lady of uh, uh, scapular or our lady of lords our lady of fatima there are several images and statues of mother mary and these are the images that come to our mind oh mother mary in sari version uh, if you look at all these images and statues uh, our blessed mother looks like a maharani Mm, now uh, standing with the crown and scepter and uh, a royal dress etc uh, was she like that never in life that's why to appreciate and to understand mother mary you need to go beyond our concepts of images and statues of mother mary to really appreciate don't get stuck and the images and statues of mother mary that is not the real mary of the gospels the mary of the gospels is quite different and there you find the real person of mother mary what do you find about the mary of the gospels let me look at the mary of the gospels from the point of helping mother today we are celebrating mary help of christians was she really a helping woman look at four incidents in her life that were mentioned she was not like a maharani let us look at the four incidents the first incident we find her helping an aged woman who was really in need soon after the annunciation mother mary did not sit at home and say i am the mother of god maharani all will come and you know venerate me and revere me you know she did not do that she just went out to help a woman in need a woman understands another woman a mother understood that aged lady and she stayed with that woman for three months to help her needs especially when she was at her old age was going to give birth to baby john the baptist until she gave birth to the baby mother mary remained there not for a party but to help this woman in need that is the sensitivity of mother mary we find someone who helped in need continuing on her life we find the next incident today's gospel she goes to help family a wedding party who were embarrassed uh, to go through an experience of running short of you know meals and uh, wine you can imagine when we organize a party or a feast and the invited guests do not have the meal sufficient is very embarrassing most of us may not notice but this woman noticed she did not go there to show her ornaments and the latest dress she went there to help people in need and she had that sensitivity to notice something was going wrong and she informs her son the first miracle happens there all because she had a sensitivity to notice some people were suffering because of that and we find again uh, her helping nature third incident when she walked with her son to his death no the disciples except the beloved disciple 
no one walked with her son but this woman walked with her son you may wonder why walking is a help yes that was a real help she could give empathetic walking sharing the suffering of her son standing at the foot of the cross and sharing in the suffering of her son and that is real helping nature of a mother she helped her son to go through that suffering a mother helping her son who was going through his suffering and finally we find mother mary that was the last scene of mother mary in the bible with that she disappears from there then only in the revelation we find uh, in the life of mother mary only that is the last thing and that was yesterday on the day of pentecost we see her being with the disciples and praying with the disciples supporting and strengthening the disciples to help them to have that courage and strength to receive the holy spirit and to get out of that you know that enclosure to preach and proclaim about her son all because she was with them she was strengthening them this is a mother this is the real image of the mother not maharani not royally dressed woman not sari mother this is a real helping mother and today when we remember mother mary under this title help of christian does not matter whether christians or anyone but she is the real help sometimes i used to wonder if we have a beauty show and on the ram you know ram is that uh, place where the uh, fashion show happens and people walk the catwalk that happens and if you have beauty show for all the our ladies we have hundreds of our ladies varieties of our lady and make them walk on the ram you know we have like for example we have uh, our lady of uh, scapula uh, or uh, carmel mary you know uh, that is one type or we have uh, uh, velangani or indian type of our lady velangani golden type or we have uh, our lady of lourdes or our lady of fatima you know there are several uh, you know if they come for a contest for a beauty show and all the our ladies come on the ramp for the beauty contest do you know who will get first prize for miss our lady for miss our lady probably mary help of christians royally dressed a beauty queen i'm not uh boasting because she is a patron of salutations probably she is well dressed royally dressed and queen but remember beauty of a woman does not lie in her dress beauty of a woman does not lie in her cosmetics beauty of a woman does not lie the ornaments and things she wore beauty of a woman does lie in her sensitivity to see the needs of the other and enter into the needs and share in the needs of the other and that is sensitivity that is beauty the best beauty in a woman who did it blessed mother 